Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm here to explain to you how Habitat uh, changed my life. And you know that's a really big task. I don't know how to start. Uh, the only way I can tell you where I can start is by saying this. Fifteen years ago, back in 1995, I never thought that I would have an opportunity to move in a house like the house that I live in. 30 years old now, and how did that change my life completely? Not just because we had an opportunity to have a home, but it changed my mindset. Let me tell you, I was not a very, what would be the word, scholar, I guess we take My GPA, <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. My GPA was 1.2. And for those of you guys who know what that is, that's not really good. <laughs> and when Habitat came in, it opened the door for my family to be able to purchase the home through them. I was finally having my own room. And the first year when we moved into the house, that year my grades boosted up to 2. Point, I believe 2.3, 2.4. I graduated with honors with a 3.4 GPA. <laughs> And it was not because, maybe it was it was irresponsible, but it was also something else. How that gave, us, gave me an opportunity to realize that there's something more beyond the scope of poverty. Uh, you know, we who come from a poor background, we, a lot of people inherit money. A lot of people inherit land. And a lot of people inherit poverty. And it's really hard to not continue that route already, unless you have a good mindset. When Habitat came in and I graduated, uh, my family, my sister, uh, had two kids. Those kids had asthma, and unfortunately, because of that, they couldn't, they, they were constantly sick. They couldn't get better. Habitat came in and saw the need again, because they were living in one room my parents' house. And when Habitat came in and saw that need, they also were selected for a Habitat home. And those kids are now doing very well thanks to Habitat. Because they're not only helping kids that are doing well, but those kids who have asthma have other health issues. Because Habitat is giving an opportunity for those kids to live in a better place. Listen guys, I, I don't know how else to explain this to you but just by thanking you guys for what you guys do. You guys may be board members, you guys may be volunteers, workers, but I really want to thank you and I ask you that you don't forget about the vision. Someone asked me, what if Jimmy Carter would have passed when he was just recently ill? And the only thing I, I asked them to do is not to forget the vision that he had. The vision was to change something in this world. When he built my, my parents' house back in 1995, he said this, the whole world is just concerned about changing the whole world. One person wants to change the whole world, that's not how you do it. The way you do it is by changing one person at a time. And that person is going to change another person. And that person is going to change another person. So I ask you that you don't forget the vision of how that has. And I want to thank you for allowing me to be here and thank you in person. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Banker, and um, he is now purchasing his own home. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>